how and when to negotiate with insurance companies. Client has scoliosis, a medical condition of the spine, visually explained here. When she applies for medical insurance, this is what insurance company offers her. We will cover you everything except for operation, tests, or medical treatment on any disease or disorder directly or indirectly related to or any injury to the spine and any complications arising therefrom. You, as the customer, has the right to reject or accept this offer by the insurance company. If you have a dumb insurance agent or an insurance agent focusing on sales only, he or she would have asked you to sign this letter of acceptance and then sales close, case close. But as a licensed financial advisor, we always put ourselves in our client's shoes and thought this offer is not fair because client only has scoliosis condition on one part of her spine, not the entire spine. So we filed an appeal with justification and supporting medical documents and by the way at this stage it is the best time mind you to negotiate with insurance company not after you sign the letter huh? and voila we get a better revised offer by the insurer because now the medical card will only not cover the area on her spine where there's a curvature or the scoliosis condition how we write the appeal and what are the supporting medical documents is for us to know and for you to find out lah. this is not an isolated incident because a dumb or inexperienced insurance agents or worse both can actually cause you a lot more troubles like premium loadings exclusions postponement rejection until we came in and turn it around see this but guess what existing medical condition that you will be unable to negotiate with insurance company because they will reject your application outright leave your comments below or follow for the next video where i'll explain this get thoughtful transparent and in your best interest actionable advice at askcf.com